No. This is the book I don't want to wait. A book about patience, by Susan Gre by Sue Graves and Trevor Dunton, by Sue Graves. So who wrote those Behaving Matters books? Maisie was never patient. She hated waiting for her birthday, even when it was ages away. I suppose she wouldn't wait patiently to see Mrs. Chen, even though there were others before her in the line. Maisie hated waiting for her turn to speak in news time. She always interrupted others when they were speaking. Mrs. Chen said it was rude to interrupt. When Maisie got impatient, she got cross. She shouted and yelled over other people so no one could hear what they were saying. One day Mrs. Chen said everyone was going to make animal masks. She said all the children should paint them carefully. And she said they would need to wait patiently for the paint to dry. But Maisie didn't wait patiently. She didn't wait for the paint to dry at all. The paint dripped all over her. Miss Chen was cross. That afternoon after school, Ruffy came to play. He bought his new game. He told Maisie that they had to take turns to roll the dice. But Maisie didn't want to wait her turn for her turn. She snatched the dice from Ruffy. Ruffy was upset. That Saturday, Maisie's big sister Lola was coming to stay. Maisie loved Lola. She was really good fun. But Lola phoned to say her bus was late. Mum said Maisie should, but have to wait patiently for her sister to arrive. Maisie scowled crossly and tapped her foot. Later that afternoon, Lola arrived. Maisie wanted to play shops with her immediately, but Lola said she wanted to have a chat with Mum first. She said she would play shops after that. Maisie got very cross. She stamped upstairs to her bedroom and slammed the door hard. After a while, Maisie calmed down. She wished she hadn't stamped her feet. She wished she hadn't slammed her door. She went to find Lola. Maisie told her sister she was sorry. Lola says Ev said everyone feels impatient sometimes. She told Maisie she felt impatient when her bus was late, so she took a deep breath and thought about other things. She said that made her feel better. Maisie said that if she felt impatient again, maybe she could take a deep breath and think about other things too. The next day, Lola and Maisie went to the park. Maisie ran to the slide, but Ruffy had got there first. He was going very, very slowly down the slide. Maisie took a deep breath. She looked for shapes in the clouds. She waited patiently for her turn. Then, Lola said it was time for ice cream, but the ice cream man was very busy, so Lola had Maisie had to wait patiently at the back of the line. She counted all the different flavours. She even made up some of her own. And at last it was Maisie's turn. The man said she waited very patiently. He gave her an extra drop of ice cream for being so patient. Maisie said it was so much nicer to be patient. And I think she's right. Isn't it good? Maybe you could try being patient, just like Maisie in the story.